Dear friends, in this video, I will talk about pointers and I want to share secret of pointers with you. When we are working with pointers, you should know how the compiler manages with memory. This is the most important part. If you understand this, then it will be very easy for you to understand how pointers work and it will be easy for you to use pointers. So before I start, let me uh, draw a sample memory here. Let's assume that, let's assume that this is our memory. Memory has locations. This is just for representing the memory, okay? Therefore, uh, I will give, give um, let's say that uh, address for uh, every location here. And uh, actually, I will use more understandable uh, address uh, numbers um, just uh, to represent the address. Okay, assume that the address starts from 100. So I'm giving address for each location. Every memory location has unique memory address. Okay. Okay. This is a sample of memory, but this is uh, actually in a uh, representation view. Okay. Okay. Then let's say that we want to declare a variable. I'm saying integer a. This is a regular integer variable. So when I declare a variable, let's say integer A, compiler reserves an available location for A. Assume that it reserved this location for A. When I say A is equal to 5, the compiler will assign this value to A by putting this value into the corresponding location. If I want to declare a pointer variable that points an integer value, I need to use integer type again. I will say integer, let's say pointer variable. But when I say pointer variable, the compiler should understand that it's a pointer variable. When I look here, I see that declaring A and declaring P are the same. So what will be the uh, difference between these two? According to this, these statements, there is no difference. So I need to uh, mention that P is a pointer variable. So I'm putting star in front of P. So when I put star, the compiler understand that P is a pointer variable. So when P is declared as a pointer variable, the compiler will find an available location for P as well. Let's say that this is the available location for P. So this is the available location for P. Okay. Now, since this is a representation view of uh, memory, uh, I'm going to put a dot here for P. When I look uh, into this uh, picture of memory, I will understand that P is a pointer variable. I put this for myself, okay? Okay. Then let's say that this is the next statement. P is equal to address of A. When I say this, A is a normal variable, and this is an address operator. So when I say address of A, the compiler takes the address of A, which is 101 in our exercise or in our, let's say, memory that I draw, 
it will take 101 and assign it to my pointer. So the value of P will be 101. P is a pointer variable that stores an address of a location that includes integer value. So this is the address of uh, another location which has integer value. So I can draw for myself P is pointing this location. Okay, friends, when we write these statements, this is the thing that happening at the background. Okay, let me summarize what happened here with a table. So I believe that you will understand how the compiler did the things at the background. And if you learn this, so you will handle the pointers easily because this is secret of pointers. The secret is this, you should know uh, this table and you should be able to manage the pointers with this, okay? So if we can do this, then everything will be easier for you about pointers. Okay, now I'm asking you A, I'm asking you address of A, I'm asking you P, I'm asking you address of P, and I'm asking you the value pointed by P. Okay, now, according to our statements here, what is the value of A? In the memory, the value of A means the value assigned to the location that uh, belongs to A. Here it is five. So I can say that the value of A is five. What is the address of A? Friends, don't forget, here I have, look, let me tell you this as well. I have indirection operator and I have address operator. So I'm using star for declaring a pointer as we did here, I'm using star to access an element pointed by pointer. For example, I can say printf. In dash operator P. So what happens? It will take the value pointed by P and display. So this is using for two aims. One for declaring declaration, declaring of a pointer variable. And another is to access the value pointed by P, okay? And this operator is an address operator. So when I use this symbol, and symbol, uh, this is an address operator and it will give us the address of the corresponding variable. Okay, let's go back to our table. We said that A, the value of A is five. It's okay. Atlas of A, atlas of A is 101. When we look to our memory, uh, it is 101. This is the atlas of A. When I say P, P is the content of this location. And P uh, means the value in this location. So P contains the address. So when I say P, when I display P, when I use P, it means that it is 101. But when I say address of P, I'm going to the location of P and check the address. The address of P is this. Let me show you this one. So when I say address of P, I should say, 105 and in direction operator p it means that the value pointed by p the compiler takes the content of p which is 101 here goes that address and takes the value on the address so 
uh, in a brief sentence, I can say that the value pointed by P. And in this exercise, the value pointed by P is five. Okay, friends, if you understand this table, how I obtained this table according to our sample memory, then uh, I believe that you will easily manage the pointers. And that's all in this video. Have a nice day.